Anyway, continuing on, we have some very interesting news in the podcasting space that might have some consequences with the one, uh, what, the fight and the kid and Brendan Schaub and Brian Callan and all that stuff that's going on at the moment. So as you guys are aware, you know, uh, Brian Callan got himself into some hot bother with some allegations of sexual assault, some pretty serious ones and some pretty non-serious ones, but essentially his career has been put on standstill due to these allegations. Now, whether or not they're right or wrong, who knows, who cares? At this moment in time, we live in a world where if someone accuses you, your career's over and that's it. But there obviously is this other side of the story where... <clears throat> Sorry about that. The Fire and the Kid have spent a long time building up a pretty credible, well-known, well-regarded podcast that, don't get me wrong, has fallen off for the last few years, but there's no denying the amount of time that they've spent in the trenches, you know, building up their podcast, building up their fan base, and essentially providing a platform for themselves to show off their talents and their skills and use as a launching pad to get all the other deals they're getting off, right? So you, there's no coincidence that the podcast blows up and gets successful. Brian Callen then becomes finally a successful um, actor, a comedian actor in Hollywood and Brendan Shaw gets you know numerous amount of opportunities that he's been getting from Showtime to brand deals and collaborations this all come off the basis of being able to work on obviously um the fire and the kid and obviously be able to use that podcast as a platform to do the other projects now of course with Brian Cannon getting in trouble you'd assume that Brian and the kid could also be a, a bit of a uh, place that he for so, you know a welcome respite from the craziness of the outside world to have a platform that you share with your friend where you can essentially share your view on the matters, clear up your name, respond to allegations, whatever it may be. Right, you just hope that'll be the case, but that's that's not what happened. What happened instead was that uh, Brian Cannon was swiftly removed from the. Uh, the fire and the kid podcast um, obviously they first tried to get him on there and rename the show that didn't work out because they're owned by this company called cast media which is a sort of production management company that i'm assuming um probably does a lot of work for them in terms of I mean, making sure that they get the right brand collaborations and advertisements and all that sort of stuff and it also is an understanding that they might be a part of cast media that handles some of the audio production and the video production and some of the maybe the uploading and the descriptions writing whatever it may be right behind the scenes that they can't probably do as a team now they signed up for that deal so they have no one to blame for the, but themselves especially considering the fire and the kid were previously had a bit of a falling out with fox uh you know uh, that relationship soured i think so much so now that the fire and the kid don't even own the fire and the kid 3d anymore right they can't they don't own the rights so they can't put it out on their on their own platforms they don't get any money from that whatsoever so they signed another deal with cast media cast media now essentially are their bosses in this podcast platform even though they once they built the fire and the kid from the ground up of course they got some help along the way i'm sure the joe rogan stamped in didn't hurt matters but essentially they built this up themselves and they essentially gave away control and now when brian callan needs the fire and the kid podcast the most he's not able to get on it and it was all mostly due to the cast media stepping in and saying we can't have brian callan on fire and the kid because we have him on the kid you won't get any sponsors and you know for, for sure you know as great as much as they love the tfat the tfat k army you know for the most part especially in brendan's case they're definitely doing that show mostly for the money and less for the love so if they can't get sponsors or brands they're not going to do it and of course you know brian callan and his own um infinite wisdom decided to step away from it anyway himself but i'm sure he wasn't really given an option to do anything else but that but there's an interesting development logan paul and his podcast called impulsive they were also part of the cast media group right and they just announced recently on his podcast that he stepped away from cast media they decided to fire them because of some problems of their past ish episodes and i had noticed one when i watched the casey neister interview they had the audio was completely fucked up and supposedly he's saying that cast media were basically um hired to look after that entire production uploading of uh, the podcast on various platforms wherever it may be cleaning up of audio and so far they've kind of put their foot off the pedal and he obviously took swift action you know and he explains some of his rationale behind the decision in this clip here again spencer's back george is fired Ooh. everyone's getting fired yeah the guys the engineers running our uh, our soundboard are not our typical engineers. Mm -hmm. uh, I fired, uh, I fired Cast everyone. Media. I fired them today. Essentially, you fired. I parked everyone my truck in front of the gate, and Logan just came out and said, "You're fired." 
week. You don't even work for the organization. <laughs> I, I, how, how do you think my uh, employment was terminated here? <laughs> Fired. He, he goes on these firing rampages and just fires everyone. Because he's, he's, the, he's the Christopher Columbus of the Maverick organization. Well, that's why, this, that's why all this is tricky, dude, because yep. the, the company that has done, you know, 220 podcasts of ours mm -hmm. they've made a slew of mistakes like I, I gave him strike one I said this is strike one I gave him strike two I said this is strike two and then I let like another two slide that they didn't know mm -hmm. even and I'll get into this on the Pokemon live stream the audio was absolute garbage for the first 20 30 minutes and uh mm. we had to sh shave the the first five because there was absolutely no audio I, I had to do like sign like mime language sign mime sign language yep. sign my, and uh so then what happened was i had to fire them because they didn't show up today because they don't work on columbus day i said who doesn't work on columbus yeah. day yeah. is it a government thing because last time i checked Col christopher columbus the racist rapist pillager who stole the lands of indigenous people right. not to be a snowflake but at what point is that fucked up i think it's just facts yeah. at this point yeah columbus we columbus day is a actual banking federal holiday well yeah. so yeah. cast me so, doesn't yeah. work yeah. for so the honestly, bank like i like i said a few minutes ago you are being very columbus-esque in trying to deny cast me Media, their federal holiday <laughs> like honestly like that's something christopher christopher would have done and also so anyway that's basically in short so um, logan paul decided to fire cast media because of their poor uh what's that? no is that me I wonder what that is. anyway they, he decided to fire um cast media of course for their inability to properly produce his podcast which makes me think is there an accident if there would it be right to say that Brendan Shaw, if he wanted to have his friend back on the podcast, he could fire Cast Media himself and sign up with another production company or get his deals handled by somebody else. Or is he worried that with the Fire and a Kid being his only, again, not to read anyone's pockets, but I'd assume the Fire and a Kid is his only, you know, and main source of income at this moment in time, especially with the limited amount of touring they can do, especially because the fact that they caught COVID, so I'm assuming a lot of clubs and places are probably going to steer off having them in some in some venues, I'm assuming. I don't know if that's true. Maybe he is. I don't know. I'm reading too much into it. But you would hope that there'd be an option, that he'd be in a position to maybe move cast media, move on from cast media, just so he can get Brian Callum back on the show for some level to basically increase maybe their viewership or maybe just to kind of rekindle the magic. Because as great as it's been in the last few weeks, I guess it's been a bit better with um, Chappelle and the other guy, Malik, I think is his name, right? Um, it's been a lot better than the other shows. There's no denying that even if you not, if you, even if you're a hater of The Fire and the Kid, there's no denying that the show isn't as good as it was without Brian Callen, right? They need each other on that show. Uh, you know, it's good to get the co-host. It's good to kind of mix stuff up. But what made that show what it is, is those two Two guys together so you would hope that with this knowledge or him knowing what's happening you know with other high profile podcasts on the cast media platform that if he's seeing someone like logan paul do it who i'm sure he's probably contacted or he's spoken to behind the scenes i'm sure he did actually appear on impulsive um once i think a couple of years ago a couple of years ago i don't know maybe in the beginning so there is obviously a relationship there you'd imagine he'd probably want to follow suit because you know ending up in a situation where they're essentially um redoing exactly what they had what happened at fox and then you know what is it then gonna start complaining and moaning about the deal when you know why you signed it and again maybe cuts off of more than what we know about or what we kind of being led to believe but it is interesting to see that logan paul has decided to kind of pull away from a cast and decide to move on but then brendan shaw especially knowing what brian callen has gone through and you know the 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 state of his career basically is in complete tatters even though you know i'm sure there's things happen behind the scene that we're not aware of it would be maybe advantageous for his friend to get back on the podcast and have an opportunity to maybe defend himself or just have the opportunity to make some money and just be funny and be a silly goose for a bit because i'm sure that's probably going to help um take your mind off things i don't know but let me know what you think in the comments what do you think do you think brendan Schub should fire cast media can he fire cast media or is he just more beholden to them because they're essentially, you know, um, keeping the lights on and paying for his Porsches and shit? Let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to know your thoughts.